Hello there, Mark Cunningham here. And in this video, we're going to learn how to manually import or upload PayPal transactions into your Xero bank feed. This process should be followed for any balance affecting transactions that you've got in PayPal, such as for sales or fees, and should not be followed for anything that doesn't affect the balance. Okay, so that's what we're gonna cover in this video, but if you'd like to learn more about Xero, then please check out the links to our courses in the description below. Okay, so a few things to point out before we jump into Xero. In this video, I use the Australian demo company, but you can use this lesson no matter which country's version of Xero you use because the principles are still the same. Also, I need to point out that you can't upload multiple currencies into a single bank account in Xero. So if you have transactions in PayPal in several currencies, you need to set up several PayPal bank accounts in Xero. So this means you can only upload transactions for one currency into each PayPal account in Xero. For example, Australian dollar PayPal transactions into the Australian dollar PayPal bank account that you've set up in Xero. So this means you'll have to do multiple uploads if you've got multiple currencies. So you would do one upload for Australian dollars into the Australian dollar PayPal account you've got in Xero and another upload for US dollars into the US dollar PayPal account you've got in Xero, etc. Now I do have other videos on how to set up multiple currencies in Xero and also how to set up multiple PayPal accounts in Xero that have different currencies. So you can check out my videos on those topics. Okay, so let's jump over into PayPal now and take a look at how we can get the transactions out of PayPal that we're going to upload into Xero. So just from my main dashboard here, if I click on activity in the top menu and then all reports, it takes me to the report screen. And from there, what you wanna do is go to activity download. Okay, and you should end up on a screen that looks a bit like this. And you can see here, it says you can create and download detailed reports of your transactions for any period over the last seven years. So that's what we want. All right, so in this first box here, you just need to make sure that you've actually got balance affecting checked and not all transactions because there are transactions in PayPal that don't affect the balance, but those transactions, we don't want them to end up in zero. So we don't want to actually download them from here and upload them into zero. So just make sure you've got balance affecting checked. And then we need to select our date range. So I'm just going to grab say the past three months and then you want the format to be CSV. So there's a couple of different formats there, but the one you want is CSV because that's how we're going to upload it into Xero. So when you're done, just click on create report. Okay, and PayPal will tell you that your request is being processed and that you'll get an email when the report is ready to download. And then you can wait for the email and you can also click the refresh button here if you wanna see um, that action go from submitted to download. So if I just click refresh now, there we go. We can see it's actually ready. So I'm going to download that. Okay. And now I've got a CSV file downloaded, but what I'm actually going to do is instead of opening it in Excel, I'm going to open it in Google Sheets. Okay. So I'm over here in Google Sheets where I've just gone and created an untitled spreadsheet. And now I'm just going to go to file and import. And the one that I want is this download CSV file that was just downloaded to my computer. So I'll just click on select. Okay, and it's just brought up this little box here where I've got a couple of options of things to do. So I do want to replace the spreadsheet that's already there because there's nothing on it anyway. And I do want the separator type to detect automatically and then convert text to numbers, dates and formulas. I'll leave that the same as well. I'll just leave that ticked and I'll click on import. Okay, so that's imported my transactions and I've actually just gone through and just hidden some columns there because there's some sensitive information in some of it. And there's also other columns where there's just information that we don't really need because we're not going to import it anyway. So you can see here I've, I've got the important things like the dates and the um, names and the type there. So whether it's a withdrawal, for example, to a bank account or a checkout payment for a sale. 
And then importantly over here, we've also got the currency. So you can see I've got US dollars and Australian dollars. And like I said in the intro, we can't upload the US dollars into the Australian dollar um, PayPal account is zero. And likewise, we can't upload the Australian dollar transactions into the US dollar PayPal account in zero. So we actually need to do two separate uploads to get all of that information in there. So then we've got the gross amounts here, which are things like gross sales. And then we've got the fees as well. So they're the actual PayPal fees. Then there's the net amounts and there's a transaction ID here for each one. And then there's just the running balance over there. And then there's the balance impact, whether it's a credit or a debit. So just one other thing to point out is that we don't upload the net amounts. We upload the gross amounts and then we upload the fees on separate lines so that we can actually get these fee transactions into zero as well. And we want to be able to code them to something like a, a, a bank fee code or something like that, which we'll do um, in a minute. Okay, so that's the data that we're going to upload um, into uh, Zero. So let's just pop over to Zero now and we'll just have a look at what we're going to upload into and also get the file ready to upload. Okay, so over in Zero, I'm in the Australian demo company and I've set up two PayPal accounts here, one in Australian dollars and one in US dollars. And what we're going to do is we're going to import the bank statement for the Australian dollar one first. So you can get to it from here, from the main dashboard, or you can go into accounting and bank accounts and you should have the same bank accounts listed there. And you can just go ahead and click on the import bank statement link to get started. Okay. So that takes us to a screen where we can download the CSV template that we're going to use. So we'll just click on that. And then I want to go into Google Sheets and open it up in there. So I'll just do that. Okay, so back over in Google Sheets here, what I'll do is I'll go File, New and Spreadsheet. And then I'll go File, Import. And I'll go and find my file that I downloaded. Which is this one right here. We'll just leave all these settings as is. Okay, so over here in Google Sheets, we now have the template that we're going to use to upload the transactions into Zero. So the first thing I'll do is just give it a name. So I might just call this AUD Upload, like so. And then now we've got to start copying the information from over here and paste it into there. So the first thing I'm going to do though is I'm going to sort this out because we only want the Australian dollar um, lines from here. So if I just highlight all that and then go to sort range and advanced, and I'll just say it's got a header row because it does. So it's got those headers up there. And then we want to do it by the currency and A to Z is fine. We'll click on sort. Okay, so now you can see that we've just got the Australian dollar uh, transactions on top there. So they're the ones that we're going to copy over. So what we need is we need the dates. So I'll just copy those dates and we'll paste them over here and we'll just paste the values like that. And then we'll also get the amounts, which we want the gross amount here, remember, not the net amount. So I'll just copy that and paste the values there. Now the payee can be the name over here. So some of them don't have a payee name, but that's fine. Because you can see up here, there's an asterisk here for date and there's an asterisk here for amount. So they're compulsory. You need to have data on each line there, but these other ones that don't have the asterisk at the top, you can actually leave um, those blank if you need to. So there's also a description column here, which we might just grab that type and put that in the description like that. For the reference, we could just get this transaction ID for the reference and paste that there. And then we don't need a check number, so that's fine. All right, so I'll just widen that column as well. So we've got everything we need there 
for the gross amounts, but we also need to put the feed lines in as well. So what we can do now is we can sort that out in a different way. So I'll go data, sort, advanced. So we've got that sorted by, um, we'll just put that back to currency and then we'll add another sort column and we'll sort it by fee amount as well. We could have just done this um, the first time, but I'm just doing it now. So we'll click on sort. So now you can see we need to get these lines as well. So we'll grab those dates, paste them there, and then we'll grab the amounts over here. Paste them there. So you can see they're minuses, which means they're going to be expenses. They're going to come out of the bank account in zero. And then the next thing we need is the payee. So we can actually just put the same payees in there. And for the description, I might actually just put fee in there just so we know it's a fee. And then we could also just pop that transaction ID in there as well. So that goes down to there and we'll paste it in there. All right, so that's our file that we're going to upload into Zero. That's all the data in there. So what we'll do is we'll just uh, download that as a CSV. Make sure you download it as a CSV and not an Excel file or a PDF or anything like that. Okay, so that's gone down there. So now we'll jump back into Zero. Okay, over here in Zero, and we'll just browse and find the file on our desktop. So we wanted that one that was called AUD upload and we'll click on import. Okay. So then you get to this screen here, which is zero going through and making sure that we're mapping everything properly. So in our statement data, for example, we want the date to map to the transaction date in zero. We want the amount to map to the transaction amount. So just go down here and make sure everything is mapping to where you want them to map um, in zero. So here, for example, we've got reference. We could actually map that to reference in zero as well. So you can see that came up just there. That was unassigned before, so there was nothing there. And now it's come up there. So you just, you're really just working on the mapping there. And once you're happy with that, and also actually um, make sure this is checked to say don't import the first line because they're column headings, which they are. So we can click on save. And you can see there that it's successfully imported 18 statement lines and there were no duplicates. So that's great. Okay. So now over in our PayPal AUD um, account here in zero, we've got those transactions in here. So we've got the, um, the sales in there and we've got the fees as well. The PayPal fees, we've got that general withdrawal that we had in there as well. And that's all been successful. Okay. So the other thing that you need to do back over here in Google Sheets is you need to create a, another new spreadsheet. And then we need to go and import that one again, which is our template to import the data into zero. And I'll call this one US dollar uploads. The other one was AUD upload like so. And then we just need to go and copy and paste all the information again. So we have the dates. And paste that there. And then we've got the amounts over here. Paste the values there. So we've got just the one payee there, but we'll copy and paste that over as well. And then the description. and then the reference. Okay, so we'll copy and paste that there. All right, so that's our US dollar upload all done. We don't have any um, fees going on here. There's no PayPal fees, so that's fine. So now we can just go ahead and uh, download that as a CSV. And we'll pop over to zero over here. Then we'll go back to bank accounts 
we'll jump into our US dollar PayPal account um, or we can just click straight on here import a bank statement to get started okay we'll go and find our file so that's the one there the US dollar upload and import okay once again we'll just make sure this mapping's okay so again we just need to do the reference just like before and make sure that's checked and we'll click on save it says five lines were imported none were duplicates so that's great okay so now we have this we have all five lines there in our us dollar uh, paypal bank account i'll just click back on bank accounts all right and now you can see we've got the 18 items there to reconcile in the australian version and we've got the five items there to reconcile in the us dollar version okay so that's how you can import all kinds of transactions from PayPal into Zero, and also how you can make sure you get your fees separated into separate lines and make sure you get those currencies separated as well and put into different bank accounts inside of Zero.